Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, this uh, video is actually just to show you guys uh, the effects of tolerances when uh, modeling uh, 3D mechanical components. Now you see here we have got uh, two pegs, each one from the center is 0.5 centimeters in. So essentially this is a two centimeter cube that has a one centimeter peg. Now, a lot of mechanical stuff is put together this way, where it's just peg and hole, pretty much. A lot of statues that you guys download online and that I've actually made have peg and hole. And it's pretty much the simplest way that you can put something together. You can put some glue in there, epoxy, throw it together, give it a good push, it's good to go. Your model's set, it's not gonna move anywhere. But when designing parts, it's hard to get the tolerances correct because looking at them in a three-dimensional space and actually printing them is, is two different things because you've gotta take into consideration your layer height, the accuracy of your printer itself. Now I have an Ender 3 Pro. It's a pretty accurate printer. It gives pretty decent prints. And what I've done here is I've made four little cubes that have holes in them. This one is exactly 0.5. So that hole is the exact size of that peg. This one is slightly bigger. It's 0.495 millimeters, or well, so it's essentially just 0.05 wider. This one's 0.01, and this one's 0.015. So when modeling these in a 3D software, such as like 3D Studio Max or, or anything like that, Cinema 4D or any of the ones that you can grab, they all look relatively the same, just to the naked eye. But you'll see, such as this one, that because of the way the printer operates, even if this is one centimeter and this is one centimeter, because of the way they're printed and the layer height and everything else like that, it might not actually go in. And this one, you can kind of feel it start going in. And you can even kind of tell that they look almost exactly the same. But no matter what amount of force we put on it, there we go. So there's that. So it's trying. It's really trying to get in there, but you'd probably have to hit it with a hammer to get it to actually go in. So the next one we have 0.49, give that one a try, goes in a little bit easier, but it's still not the best. It even actually shaved off a couple of the outer layers on this one. So. When designing mechanical parts, you've always got to deal with tolerances and clearance and stuff like that. And even though the, the distance may look really uh, wide in the 3D program, you've got to think of how it'll actually interact in the physical world. So this is 0.49 and 5. So this one, there we go. Oh, I had some bits fly off of that. So there we go. It's all the way seated. So you got a one centimeter peg in a just over, so it'd be like just slightly bigger than one centimeter. So you're looking at like 1.02 centimeters wide. Now this one's probably, yeah, that one's stuck. And I figured that one would get stuck. So. We can try and pry it out. I've got this leather working all here. We can try and get it to come out again. But I think we're going to have one hell of a time getting it to go. There we go. And once again, it did shave off some stuff at the bottom here, so it went together a little forcefully, but 
one uh, one centimeter peg going into just just over one centimeter words now the last one we have is the kind of clearance ratio that i like to use so that essentially means that each edge on this one is 0.485 so we've essentially expanded the peg on all sides by 0.015 and if we do this there we go fits in there nice and smooth and we can probably even with a little there we go so it's very tight but you can pull it out push it back in gives it a nice firm press and then it just just pulls out with some force Now these cubes we're going to throw up on our website if you want to print them out for your printer and, and test how well it does with dimensions. Every cube is two centimeters by two centimeters by two and the peg is one by one by one right in the center. Now these are really good when you're trying to uh, create mechanical parts or just trying to make uh, pegs for a model or something like that. I use a lot of press fit stuff when making uh, gears and, and slides and stuff like that. So it's always really good to look at it and think, will it actually work in the real world? And if you make it too wide, it'll be wiggly. So if you made this, say we brought it down to 0 0.75, 0 0.65, it would go in, but it would be, it would be wiggling the entire time. So there you go. Now these, these guys are up on our website. You can find them through the link in the video. If you have any questions or you have any other uh, mechanical um, issues going on with your prints, just let us know. And uh, we'll bring you some more stuff soon.